is that my peeps? Uh, a little while ago I tried to do a live video for you from uh, the container store. I tried to do it through YouTube and then through Facebook and the connection was poor. I had, to I had to basically be only in the center of the store in order to get enough reception and stuff in order to do a live video for you and how am I supposed to sit there and show you all the cool stuff just by being in the center of the store, right? Oh, there's a box and it's this uh, it just wouldn't work out. Anyways, so the container store. Been meaning to go in there for like ever and then I finally went in there and if you have OCT like I do then you, you feel like you hear angels singing when you walk in there you know uh, there's organization for every single little thing and for you know those of us who do hobby and are professional painters and stuff if there's one thing we are always in need of it's a uh, good hobby organization whether it to be whether it be to maximize our spaces or to keep all our little bits and stuff contained and things like that so um, I found a bunch of really cool stuff while I was in there and I did take some pictures so what I figured I would do is I would uh, take the pictures and then uh, you know voice over and tell you about what it is I saw and what kind of purposes you can use it for now of course you don't necessarily have to go to the container store in order to obtain these items it's some of the stuff in the container store I'm not gonna bullshit you it's expensive as hell so uh, there are cheaper alternatives maybe you know how to make it yourself or something like that or it could give you ideas for other needs that you might have because for everybody's hobby space everybody's needs are different everybody has a different amount of paint different amount of models so on and so forth right so um, without further ado I'm gonna go through for you and show you all the cool stuff that I saw in the store so here we go alright so snapware cases great for uh, putting figures and paints for convention travel you can put blue tack underneath the figures for example for travel those are called amic boxes I don't know if that's the exact name for them but those are great for if you have a very small space to use to transport competition pieces you can use for that uh, that's great for travel sorting bits or teeny tiny minis that's also good for sorting bits and minis the box, the uh, drawers pull out. Tools also you can put in there. Same thing with this kind of case. That's just a case with a different amount of uh, doors and drawers. Um, that could be used for your minis and tools and stuff. Uh, those are great for if you're sharing paint with somebody or, you know, for travel with terrain pieces or flock. If you've been to Reaper Factory, you might have seen these before. They use those to carry their minis and metals in. You can do the same if you have a large space to do that in, a lot of shelves. Uh, you might have seen some people show these off. Miniature uh, figure display cases used for Lego people, but I think you can use them for minis too. Just remove the Lego floor on there. Uh, those are another forms of display cases, smaller. Or you can put those smaller display cases and shadow boxes within bigger display cases. That's a modular display case that is made of acrylic and the rectangles that are there are to, you know, create stairs or shelves, things like that. And that's another uh, drawer organizer for bits, Dremel tool parts, you know, things like that, minis, bits. That can also be used as a display case. Uh, the height is good for up to like 54 millimeter miniatures as long as they're not mounted on big bases. You can use those at conventions to like display your work. That's a packing list, of course, for us uh, that travel for conventions. Obviously, we need one more customized, but at least that gives you an idea so that you don't forget to pack stuff. That is a cabinet organizer. It basically sets up kind of like a staircase. You can also use that either to organize in your ca um, cabinets or shelves or for showing your work on a table. Those are photo, photo cases. You can use that to hold your decals in, stickers, things like that. Those are in a bigger container, a bigger case. That is another form of stackable storage, just in clear and larger. Those come in different sizes. And that's what the smaller photo cases look like inside that bigger case that I showed you. That's good for holding your uh, decals in. I don't know how much 40K those of you play, but, you know, I do a lot, so... Those are like cylinder, Tupperware cylinders. You can, uh, you know, put flock in there, uh, minis that you're painting with blue tack underneath, things like that, terrain pieces. Those are bottles. 
they have dropper bottles, but they have tops that just kind of go over. So those wouldn't exactly be good for travel. The twist top ones are fine, but not so much the dropper ones that they got there. Large latch box, those are about the size of a sheet cake, and you can transport paints in that or minis, things like that. That's a larger drawer organizer for uh, bits and minis and things like that. That one's like about 40 bucks, but it has it's really big. And that one is a, those are glass bottle dropper bottles. You can use that to put in for thinning your paint. So you do a drop at a time. If you're not comfortable with glass and don't use those. And those are glass jars also can be used again for uh, terrain pieces, flock, things like that. That is a compartment organizer, compartment storage box rather. And one of the compartments is long enough to put like sculpting tools, files, exacto knives and brushes. That's another cabinet organizer, just not as wide as the ones I showed you before. Again, you can use it to put on a table to show your work or in a cabinet to organize. Those are hinged boxes. First thing I thought of of those, travel wet pallets. Those would be good for that. And those are some photo bags. They're acid-free and such, uh, so you can use those to put sheets individual sheets of uh, decals so that they don't get messed up uh, one ounce one ounce plastic screw top jars also for again if you're sharing paint with somebody to travel around with flock things like that. so yeah so that was uh my some of the things that i found for hobby spaces and such while i was at the container store so i hope that you uh enjoyed it i hope that you got some great ideas for it or perhaps had some stuff to add on to your holiday list i know it's coming too quickly you didn't even eat turkey yet and you see Christmas stuff everywhere it's crazy um, but yeah so one of the things that I bought while I was at the container store oh by the way I have to show you what it says on the bag there it says contain yourself I almost couldn't when I was in there for God's sake I said to one of the sales girls straight I said Jesus Christ how do you work there and not want to buy like everything you see the girl told me straight she was like oh I just work here to fuel my habit I was like I believe you okay because I'll tell, I'll tell you what, if I, if she's like, oh, we're hiring. I'm like, girl, <laughs> Brandon would be like, we have no money for food this week. And I'll be like, but look how beautifully organized all our airbrush stuff is, you know? So forget it. I'm, so I got this uh, five by seven photo case. Photo case is one of the things that I showed you in the pictures. And I put some of the smaller sheet decals in there for, for my GW stuff. Uh, I have more and more can fit in here because there's some give at the top and all you have to do is just press down so you know and then you have room and then it snaps close and then yay and it's good for travel and stuff like that. That's one of the things I pick up. I didn't want to go too crazy. Um, so yeah, um, besides that, gee, what do I have for you for latest news? Oh, uh, LasVegasOpen.net Event registration is open, uh, so there are Metalhead Minis classes in there, Mark Maxey's also going to be teaching, Snickernack Studios will be there, the people from Miniature Monthly will be there, Seth Amsden, and it's really going to be a good time. The hobby classes, the whole thing for it is a lot, a lot more organized and everything, so I'm sure that you, those of you who have gone before will notice and definitely be able to appreciate that. I know I appreciate organization and stuff, so that's always good. Uh, be sure to book your classes, don't lose your seat. And, uh, yeah, other than that, that's all I got for you today. Be sure to stay crispy and milk, and uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.